Just when you think elections would stay in our rearview mirror for a moment. We can take it back. We see the return of the political campaign ad. I'm Dr. Scott Jensen. Today, with the official announcement, Republican State Senator Dr. Scott Jensen is taking on Governor Walls. It feels like it's starting maybe a little earlier than usual, but at the same time, these candidates have to raise money. They have to do, get, do name ID. Political analyst and former Governor Palenti top aide Brian McClung says the pandemic may also trigger earlier timing and stronger passions, meaning Walls will likely be called to answer for his decisions this last year, just like governors throughout the country, with challengers making their own comparisons and conclusions. And see how Minnesota is doing relative to other states in terms of our unemployment rate, recovering, you know, bringing the economy back online, getting kids in school. And there's going to be a lot to talk about in this election. But on that point, McClung says Walls will enjoy a couple advantages. Over 30 years of track record of incumbent governors getting reelected. For another thing, Walls has been, well, transparent. I want you to wear the mask so that you live. And that's the day I said, so that you can live to the next election and vote against me. Is that a self-fulfilling prophecy? Was that a politically strategic move or not wise? I think that uh, Governor Walls uh, has a really good kind of self-effacing style, and he isn't afraid to take a jab at himself. From my perspective, is the kind of leader who really has tried to do what's best for the state, and he's trying to set aside concerns about re-election or concerns about political party. So I think that plays well for him. But back to that field of challengers. So far, you have Jensen, Lexington Mayor Mike Murphy, and maybe my pillows Mike Lindell, who told me just today he was 99% planning to run before he shifted his focus to how last November played out. While he has certainly some support in the Republican base, I think in terms of actually trying to win the election in Minnesota, he'd be in a very tough spot. And McClung says other names are still in the mix. Republican leaders Paul Gazelka and Kurt Doubt, Senators Julie Rosen and Karen Housley, even outsiders like former Viking Matt Burke or broadcaster Michelle Tafoya, all possibly running in a race apparently already begun. Just don't expect one known entity to join in. That's where I think if there is an, a, a wild card type of candidate, you might see somebody like that really catch on with Republican voters. Any chance your former boss might throw his name in the hat again? Nope, no. <laughs> McClung said that list of potential candidates, in his opinion, obviously could change, but he believes Governor Walls will be the Democratic candidate, even if someone tries to challenge him within the party. And while we still haven't heard an official re-election announcement from Governor Walls, his campaign has said they're hiring staff and have already raised more than $1.7 million, so it certainly points in that direction.